my gosh, it's windy today. I mean, look, look at out there, guys. Very windy, it's blowing against me. The storm is coming. This is from the hurricane from the south. But you know what? You still got to fish, right? Everyone got to fish. And today I'm fishing for the first time my Cast King Valiant Eagle BFS setup. And based on conversation with my viewers and my unboxing video, you guys want to see, the majority want to see medium light first and then followed by a medium, uh, a ultra light video. So I know there's a lot of wind, so I'm going to face this. So you guys uh, hopefully block out some uh, wind. And let's talk about the setup very quick. So I have a Perigee, Casting Perigee 2. This is their medium light, single piece casting rod, rated for 1 8 ounce to 3 8 ounce, okay? And uh, the line I have here is Cabela's 10 pound braided line. Please don't crap on me for using Cabela's line. You know, sometimes when you get a discount, you gotta do it. And we're gonna set up this whole thing for some casting of a five gram stick bait from Surinoya. This guy here, I never cast this one yet, is a five gram one. I know I did the other one before and it was a, like a three something. So yeah, this is gonna be fun throwing this. I have a feeling on that side, where the wind is blowing into is where I pick off some pickerels. But we'll do some cast testing into the wind. All right, look at this. People stacked up these rocks nicely. So you can actually step on here, step on here, hop over, happy hop, hop, hop. And it's still noisy here, but whatever. I see a windblown cove there and I kind of want to hit it. And let's set up this whole thing, right? There's no clickers here on the tension knob. So I just got a feel for it. And there's no play there. And I'm going to set off with 80% brakes first, the first light cast. And you cast into the wind, no problems. Distance wise, obviously we're not measuring distance here because there's no landmark for me to actually, you know, go on GPS and figure out how far it is, but I can cast it, medium light. And uh, with the chop, it's hard to see, but oh yeah, I can see it now. This thing walks the dog amazing. Dude, I love throwing stick baits and this micro stick bait might be my favorite one going forward. So I'm gonna lower the brakes to seven now. Oh, uh, 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 uh. all right, all right, all right. Let's try it into the wind. Got a little bird nest there from um, the cast, but I thumbed it and it's okay. And I think it's because of the wind, but it went pretty far. So I am stoked. I might have to, um, oh, did something, something just attacked me. I saw a blow up. Oh yeah, there was a, definitely a blow up. Pickerels. Oh, 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 I'm gonna lose balance here. But yeah, pickerels are here. A lot of them. Maybe I get a red fin. I haven't got one of those. Or a uh, grass pickerel. But yeah, I had a smack. All right, let's do it again. But casting wise, it, it was great. I'm gonna try to swing as far as I can. And that is pretty good. I overspooled right when I touched the water. You can see that the line right there, but uh, I spooled just enough to cast which is good, you know, if you get a crazy backlash, that basically game over, right? But this is good. Oh, I, I got hit again. I felt that one this time. I didn't set the hook, hold up. Okay, I see, I did not, <laughs> all right, hold up. All right, there we go. I pulled it in, it was nothing. I'll tell you what, guys, I also lost my brand new awesome lure. The picker cut me off. I, uh, I, uh, now I need to buy more. All right, guys, we are now throwing this guy, five gram angry birds, okay? And this time I doubled up my line with a be mean twist. So hopefully those pickerels are not gonna bite through my line. We'll see. We are leaving it at seven breaks. Oh, okay, so the wind is hard. Maybe I need to cast a little softer first. If not, I might have to jack up the brakes. So let me fix that very quick for you guys. And I apologize for the wind, but you guys got a recommendation for my GoPro. You know, you can leave me a comment below if you guys do a lot of GoPro stuff, something to block some wind noise. There we go, look at that. Oh, got a little backlash near the end. Kind of expected with the, the wind, but there are pickerels here. Oh, something just blew up right there. That's pretty cool. I'm telling you, this wind like this, it will pick up and um, these fish will just feed like crazy. So we just need to be able to figure out where they're at and perhaps simply just buzz this frog because it is a buzz frog. But right now there's a lot of cars buzzing by me, you know, making a lot of noise. Let's get that right to the edge. Oh, look at that. That's pretty beautiful. 
might find a picker hiding right there. But the sun is relentless. I might have to move because the wind and everything. And then I'll pick up my bag and we'll be able to, uh, you know, travel a little bit. The spot right here, I have uh, not a lot of fishing spots, but if I throw the kayak in here, it's actually very fun for micro fishing, fishing for small pickerels. Now, if I knew pickerel could bite off a 10 pound braided line, I'd probably up it to like 15 or even 20 and then double to my line and I wouldn't have lost that stick bait. But man, 10 pound test line is thin stuff. All right guys, how, how much you wanna bet that this cast right here, which is amazingly far for a light lure, that will generate a bite. I mean, it's right there. Wind blown cold right there. That's a bite. I just saw, it oh my gosh, blow up again. Blow up twice. I'm gonna have to throw on my stick bait now. My frog's not even floating anymore. They squeeze the water out of it. But yeah, guys, I just wanna say that this frog right here, so far, Got a lot of strikes, but I just can't hook them up. These pickles are so small. I preferred using a treble hook lure, like my original stick bait from Suranoia. Hey, he hit, he hit. And I set the hook wrong. And now my book bag has my, my fishing line. All right, folks, we got another stick bait here, the smaller version. Okay, so this is in a three grams-ish. I think it was three point something. A lot lighter than the first two lures. We'll see how this fares. And I'll tell you how it fares. It go, <laughs> this is too light for this reel. And maybe rod. I think it's a rod problem. The question is, am I gonna be able to land a pickerel now? Now that I got some treble hooks. See, pickerel, especially smaller one, they slash at your lures. So with the treble hook here, that should get a hold of them if they decide to bite. Now, I need to probably drop my brakes a little bit in order to get the distance I want because this is a medium light rod. Oh, definitely better. And that pickle just jumped out of nowhere. I probably spooked him. Yeah, I spooked him. He probably just bolted. Like I landed and he's like, I'm outie. Maybe he'll turn back around and, you know, take this bait. The stick bait is sexy, very sexy. Now you see the wind is coming from the left to the right and all the noise is behind me. But yeah, I spooked the crap out of that guy. So I don't think he's coming back. Now we're gonna change it up. We'll cast here. The wind is start blowing this way. So we start casting into wind. Good thing I cast soft for that one. Not too bad for distance and accuracy. So these few casts here with this stick bait is pretty good. I'm probably going around and see if I could Hook up a fish. If not, you know, oh, oh, here we go. Pick a row. Not enough drag. Here we go, here we go. Okay, look at that. If you can shake off, that'd be cool. But if not, you know, tire out, do a screenshot. Yeah, look at him, he, he definitely got it good. Toothy guy. There we go, micro pick a row. All right, off he goes. Peace out. Thank you for joining Bar Fishing YouTube channel. You're a star now. Come back when you're like 10 times the size. I just love it when they want to come in and you know play with you during your uh, cast testing videos. You know, a lot of my cast testing videos is like bare cast testing and you know, I'll probably get you guys bored. But medium light is fun. You cast, you know, obviously bigger lures than your ultra light, right? But there's actually one thing that I want to show you guys that I have done in the past, but uh, because the trips are always pretty terrible, I never, portrayed it on my channel. And that is drop shot fishing using a medium light outfit. And the reason why I like using a bait caster drop shot fishing compared to a spinning reel is because of the slack line that I'll be fishing in. And because a spinning reel, it spins and when you reel up and stuff like that, and it generates a lot of line twists. And line twists is just terrible for your, you know, your setup, right? Especially spinning reel. I'm, I have only did like probably two trips drop shot fishing with my Spartacus on this setup. And I did, like I said, I didn't do extremely well fishing, but you know, in the fishing aspect, the performance of the rod and reel was actually very good. So if you guys want to see me do some drop shot fishing with a medium light setup, let me know. I'll show you guys some of my uh, favorite rigs. I'll catch some deep water fish, some bass, some crappies, bluegills, 
heck, even catfish will come and hit my, my, my rigs. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see other than, you know, just casting stuff. All right, guys, the next lure I'm throwing is not a Soranoia lure. This is a jerk bait that sinks slowly, I think. Five grams. Perfect. I like to throw heavier stuff, but small heavy stuff. So I think this might float, but if it sinks, that's great. I actually have a deeper side that I want to fish. So let's see how well this cast. It's going to be short distance anyway for uh, where I'm actually fishing. So what I'll do is I'll cast first where I was just fishing just to see the distance. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that something this small should, I mean, at this weight, should cast a pretty good distance. I mean, jerk baits are bulky. I don't know if this have any uh, weight chamber system. I don't think so. So let, let's see, let's get fishing. All right, you can see the wind is pretty crazy here. Check the brakes back up to eight. And there it goes, yay. That's pretty good distance. I like it. I don't know how deep that is, but there should be a channel there. Yeah, let me bring it in for a second. I just want to take a quick closer look. Okay, the slow sinking jerk bait. Those are fun. Those are definitely fun. But I gotta say, not in this. So let me go somewhere else. This looks good. Casting short first. I'm just gonna twitch it back. Hopefully there's some pet girls hiding in here. Thumb it good. Ooh, I almost hit that uh, tree. If I didn't thumb it, I definitely hit that very end over there. Yeah, this is definitely not a... Wah! Wah! No good. No good. But yeah, this is definitely not a slow roll lure. So uh, let me fix this. All right, guys. So we're back in this side this time. This is where I started and lost that stick bait. Oh, I spooked something. You see it's going away. But I had to kill them. Black Knight. And this had a 20 pound braided line instead of 10. And this time, it's worse than <laughs> Cabela's. This is Matsuo line. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Kodom Black Knight. I have the Ace Hawk. This is their medium light, medium dual tip rod. And I have the medium light tip. And woo, fire truck's coming. But yeah, we gotta throw this five gram Angry Bird Frog. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna throw this right here to Angry Bird. Five grams. It's gonna be less than five grams because the snakeheads took my spinner. And uh, we'll see if we get some pickerels here. Okay. Casting distance, look at that. It's pretty good. Even wind is coming against me, even with the left hand crappy brakes. Like I said, if you have good thumbs, this reel is actually not bad. And I will be using this a lot more often than, you know, my cast testing video that I dropped last time. Definitely gonna be using it for heavy stuff like this. I was actually intention, have the intentions of using this rod for more like a drop shot. Oh, he smacked me. But yeah, for a drop shot rod. But now I may just cast with it because like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, affect me that much. And as you can see here, bam, that is distance into the wind with a five gram frog. Ooh, something blew up over there. And hopefully I can catch that picker that stole my bait. All right, let me just bring it back in for a second. Bring it, bring it back in, bring it back in, come on. Boom, look at that, right on the edge. If that was a picker, I'll, I'll hang out right there. I mean, you tell me guys, does that go far? Heck yeah, it does. Question is, does pickerel like orange? You guys know I love orange. My kayak's orange, my logo is orange, and they add the blue. Yes, my logo is actually made based on my two kayak colors. Definitely, definitely forecasting. Yeah. All right, dude, he smashed that, but you can't set the hook. Uh, I got bitten in the back. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh, my back's itching. But man, come on, Pickerel. Mm, come on. All right, guys, back to this spot. Casting into the wind. 
using that 3.1 gram stick bait it went left because it's too light that's be honest that's how it is you throw a 3.1 oh bam you throw a 3.1 with a, uh you know something that's rated for a, a, a 3.5 it's gonna happen not too bad but i think if i throw like um micro bearings on this it probably do a lot better i could throw a uh, you know stuff lighter even though the rod is rated for you know one eighth 3.5 grams this guy definitely definitely could throw something this at uh, 3.1 because it's just so i guess you could say condensed it just flies right out that's why i love stick baits all right this is what we do we'll cast this way i sure all right it's good I compensated for the casting accuracy, so it's good. I was, just can't cast that far. But this guy walks like a charm too, man. Let me get one fish on this. This, I think this rod is, correct me if I'm wrong, it's been fishless. I've hooked up fish, but they always drop off. Fish bites, but they drop off. So I want to catch something. So it won't be considered my bad luck reel, because so far, you know, I have pretty much bad luck with it. Oh, there it goes. Bam! Oh yeah. I have my drag set up pretty high. I know you guys want to see the clicker. Get a clicker. There's still noise here. You guys wouldn't hear the clicker anyway. But what happened was I was fishing for snakeheads and I got to make sure my drag is up all the way. So anyway, here's the snakehead. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, here's the pickerel and I'm going to walk him over over there and use my pliers. It's so noisy here, so I'm just going to cut the, whatchamacallit, release footage. See that? He missed it. But he's still there. Oh, ay! Uh, all right. Something's behind me. Yep. clickers on pre-storm conditions baby look at that acrobatic for those who don't like pickerels man I live for pickerels and snakeheads Woo! look at that uh, let me give myself some line get them up pickerel galore Love it. Got to pinch them very, very good outside the gill plate. I like to do that. And the cover, got to close his gill plate. Don't stick your finger into his gill plate. And then get your trusty pliers side of you. And, you know, do the handy dandy dental work. Oh, yeah. Let's go this way. Hopefully get far. I cover some water. And, uh, you know, pull in one last fish. I gotta do more casual fishing, guys. I've been uh, spending time having too much fun at home with a baby. And then when I go out, I do testing. Look at that. This is fun fishing. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop doing all these reel tests. But So uh, I got two reels coming in. And that's probably it. Uh, Fall's coming and I really want to do more fishing rather than testing. So um, I will test, you know, do a cast test of the, what do you call that? Uh, Valiant Eagle. And then I will do one more reel and that's really it. Uh, I might do a custom spool. Who knows? Who knows when that comes? Fall is here and the bite is going to be hot. So I want to focus on the, the catches, having the fun rather than product testing. So uh, if you guys want to, you know, 
see more product testing, you do need to tell me that. So uh, I may carve one or two more rods of reel, what, whatnot, and show it to you guys. But other than that, I really, really want to fish. You know, uh, being a dad first time, most of my time spent is with the family now. And I realized when I looked at my video playlist, most of the time spent has been fishing, you know, with new products. And um, I think I'm kind of burnt out. It's really stressful. And you know, today, you know, catching these small dinks on BFS gears was so much fun. And I apologize one more time for the uh, nasty noise in the background. This is how it is fishing this spot. Yeah, I will come back here. Maybe I'll come in a weekend where it's not as noisy, but this is, this is great. I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, fish don't wait, get out there, catch some fish right before the storm. Let's do it.